Hi, this is Josh with Relationship Architecture. A good friend of mine and I were having a conversation this week about just the challenges of, of being a dad, being a husband, but also still doing things that we love and that we care about. And how both of us have a pretty long list of things we love to do. And they oftentimes take us away from our wives and our kids. And, and recognizing that when we've made that commitment to our spouse, we made that commitment to our kids, we've got to be willing to give up some of those things. But also not giving up so much where we kind of become depleted or, or empty. And, and the same goes for uh, wives and mothers as well, is that we've got to have to find a way to kind of feed our soul so that we have something to give back to our kids. And the analogy I think of is when we're on an airplane, beginning of the, before the flight starts, the pilot says, hey, you know what, if, if the cabin loses air pressure, oxygen masks will drop down. And parents, it's very important that you put your mask on first so that you can then turn and help those around you and help your kids. And as parents, that's a hard concept for us to, to grasp a lot of times because we're very sacrificial and we think, you know, I'm going to sacrifice myself for my kids. Uh, but when we don't put the oxygen mask on first, we jeopardize them and ourselves. And it's an actual responsibility we're taking to feed ourselves so we can feed our kids. Give ourselves oxygen so we can you know, put the mask on our children. And you see it in, in a lot of different scenarios, but learning how to take care of ourselves so that we have something to bring to the table. And I want to encourage you this week to find ways that activities that feed your soul, whether that's going on a hike, uh, reading a book, playing an instrument, hanging out with some friends, doing something that you feel, you feel like fills you back up so that when you come back into your family environment, you have a lot to give. You have something to, to bring to the table versus come to the table depleted and empty of any kind of energy and excitement. You're not a lot. You're kind of a drag on the family and you already have kids that are sometimes pulling you down anyway. So Think of ways that you can do that for yourself and then talk to your spouse about that so they can do the same for themselves. The goal would be for both of you to be able to trade off, say, all right, I'm going to do Friday morning, I'm going to get up early, I'm going to go for a bike ride, are you okay with the kids? And then, you know what, how about Sunday, you go do yoga in the afternoon and I'll take the kids then. And that way, both of you are getting something that kind of feeds that soul, gives you per perspective and kind of clears your mind so when you come back into those stressful environments, you, you got more patience and you have a little more energy. I want to thank you for joining me today. This has been Josh with Relationship Architecture.